La Cucina Ana Maria. I'm Ana Maria de Freitas, owner of the Harrison House Suites, Tucker House Inn, and Coho Restaurant in Friday Harbor, San Juan Island. Today, I have the pleasure of being in Pelandaba Lavender. Pelandaba is a premier grower of lavender plants, distiller of lavender oils, and producer of lavender products. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a berry syrup using lavender. This would be a perfect syrup for snow cones, waffles, or pancakes. So I have some fresh blueberries here, and I'm going to put them in my pot. And then I'm going to start with some culinary lavender. If you look to the fields to my left, you'll see the Provence uh, culinary lavender. Those have been harvested, so that's the green rose. And that's harvested early, usually when there's one to two flowers uh, that appear on the plants. And this is the dried culinary lavender. And I'm going to put it in a mortar and pestle and just grind it. If I was in my kitchen, I'd take the sugar, and I have a couple teaspoons, a couple tablespoons of sugar, and the lavender, put it in a food processor, and just let it puree until the lavender is finely ground. But I'll just do this in the mortar and pestle. And you can see the lavender is getting pretty pulverized. There'll just be a few more turns here. I could have also made a sugar syrup using lavender, taken some sugar, some lavender buds, and then let the sugar dissolve, strain off the lavender buds, and then added that to my blueberries. So I'm going to put that in my blueberries. And then I have a quarter of a cup of water and some arrowroot. You can use cornstarch any kind of thicker tapioca starch. And I like to dissolve this first so I don't have any lumps in my sauce. Okay, I'm gonna add that to my blueberries and my sugar. And then a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Okay, and then I'm gonna go over to the stove and we're just gonna cook this down until it thickens. Okay, so I'm cooking the blueberries and my cornstarch, lavender, and sugar down. And you can see that everything is beginning to thicken and it's letting off a lovely scent of lavender. So I'm just going to thicken this just a little bit more and it's going to continue to thicken once it cools. Since I'm in a rustic setting, I'm doing kind of a rustic sauce. You could puree this and then strain it, but I think it's really pretty just having the fresh blueberries that are whole. So we're going to turn, the, turn this off, and then I'm just going to plate this so we can see what the final product looks like. So you can see we have this lovely berry syrup that I'm just going to put in this ice cream bowl. And it's ready for snow cones, pancakes, or waffles. Bon appetito.